आपके साथ भी कभी ना कभी वो हुआ होगा जो हमारे सबके साथ हुआ है वहां पे there are some emotions there are some needs which are universal the challenge was to tell the complete story without telling the complete story the part about my parents because it's such a difficult emotion to talk about i'm making it sensational because our stories have always been sensationalized hi guys this is manisha and welcome to iwm buzz today i have with me the team of rainbow rishta welcome to iwm buzz and congratulations on your docu series thank you thank you so much first of all uh, sir i want to know from you jaydeep sir uh, what motivated or inspired you to tell this story like this docu series uh, what motivated me is that nothing like this exists actually what we have yeah. made and i truly believe and i'm not being um, arrogant about this but i really feel that you have uh, the and from the reactions that you haven't seen an honest representation of queer lives and queer joy um and i wanted to capture that ek kamre mein when queer people are together we're always almost feeding off each other's energies and the support that we have from each other and that makes us thrive i wanted to make a show that can show the world you know what queer joy looks like feels like and how empowering it is and how the world is a better place with it amazing uh, daniela i want to know like when you, uh, they told you about this docu series what motivated you to be a part of it uh when uh, navin came with me being really honest he did not tell me that where this document series is going to happen on he just called me up casually and said listen i want you to give me a love story i don't know where is it going i don't want to give you any hopes but just give me a love story and i would be happy to hear so i have always been out as a person and i said ha theek hai i have spoken about so many things let's talk about and i gave navin my love story and then he came back to me in december and said listen you know amazon has selected your story we are working on it and we are very happy what about you getting married on screen and i was like oh my god what like what are you talking like a queer marriage on screen literally and he said yes why not and i went back to my husband and i told him that uh, joel what do you think about this and joel was like listen this decision should not be ours like we should sit with our parents and talk about them because there will be so much many things and i said yeah makes sense we went to our parents and you know when we told them we are getting married on screen and the first thing our parents said oh after four years you do it now only and i was so amazed to see the support that i got from them i said you are okay to come on screen He said we are not okay, but we will give our best, whatever we can, and there is the series in front of you today. Amazing. Ah, uh, from all three of you, I want to know what were the challenges that you guys faced. Obviously, it was not easy. Ah, uh, so how was the process, and what were the uh, like challenges that you guys faced? Yeah, I mean the challenges were that it was very scary to begin with. You know, like opening up your life for such a big platform, and like you know. um like sharing your most intimate secrets with the public like dating was such a vulnerable thing to begin with you know doing that on camera going on a first date on a blind date in fact like you know on camera was very very scary uh but but you know like throughout the process the team like really reassured us that um we were really looked after and that there was nothing like you know that we were not we didn't have to be scared at all and that really helped so it it was really challenging to begin with that was my biggest challenge was like how do i open up you know like my most like you know part that i want to hide from the world like you know my house uh, my cupboard my closet how do i share that with the world that was the challenging part and also the part about my parents because it's such a difficult emotion to talk about because mm-hmm. you love your parents so much you and you don't want to like put them in a bad light but you also uh you know you feel some kind of way to share that with the world knowing that you know that might inspire somebody or that might make somebody else feel like okay this is not something that i am going through by myself somebody else is also going through this uh, um ex- experience so that might put them at ease a little bit that was the challenge that i faced yeah so as a director what challenge you faced you know one of the biggest challenges because um you know i mean i'm a uh, queer myself and for me i was very clear that i wanted to tell a story of superheroes so that you know someone who's young struggling in the closet can see that the world is a place where you can be your authentic self and there'll be enough people yeah. to celebrate you and accept you so for me uh, the challenge was to tell the authentic stories without uh, making it sensational because our stories have always been sensationalized and i just read yeah. where in fact which um you know my heart sank a little bit i just read somewhere where they said oh they haven't gone too much into daniela's past oh they haven't gone too much into sadam's past why are you interested in sensationalizing our stories 
I have to, as a filmmaker, respect certain boundaries that the characters mm-hmm. set up. I have that trust because I respect those boundaries. Mm-hmm. And you as a viewer want me to constantly perform for you. You're interested in knowing about Daniela's past? Open your eyes and see the world that you're living in. You want to know about Saddam's past? You look into yourself and see how you other us and push us into these corners. Don't expect us to make a, a textbook of how not to be, uh, how not to discriminate, how to be a better person. That's not my job. That's your job. That's your homework. You do it. I want to make a show about joy. So that was very difficult for me to navigate where, you know, a lot of the times Shubhra, Hriday and I would talk about, should we hold back? And a lot of the times, like I did flush I was saying that Shubhra would go to Ayushman and say, hey, this is going to come out on screen. This is if the whole world is going to watch it. Do you want to talk so candidly? So we always gave the agency. Our challenge was to tell the complete story without telling the complete story. Amazing. So uh, I want to know, like when audiences watch this series, watch uh, what will they take away home? What what inspirational message that docu-series will give them? Um, there is no inspirational message, really, honestly. This is not, uh, if it uh, people are getting inspired, that's great. But we have just put a raw and candid uh, version of our lives there. I hope people realize that loving is much easier than hating. Mm. So use your other energy, love, love the world, be empathetic and use the other energy in, you know, go rock climbing or do something interesting with your lives. I don't know, Ayushman, uh, Daniela, what do you think? Yeah, like absolutely what uh, Joydeep said. It's it's about like, you know, just as simple as he calls us superheroes, but it could be any like, you know, six people just like wanting love, you know, like we were the chosen ones in that sense. But the story is about like anybody who wants love. It's about anybody who's in the process of finding whether it's self-love or whether it's love through a partner or through friends. It's it's just about that. And that's what the, the show is trying to do. It's, 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 it's the message of the show is just that, that, you know, like there are some emotions, there are some needs which are universal. And if we just acknowledge that, then we can acknowledge our humanities better in, in, in each of us. And we don't have to like, you know, constantly talk about the labels and what is the transgender person and what is a gay person. It's not about that. It's about, we're all humans. It's all about love and it's all about like, you know, joy. That's, that's the message of the show. There is nothing takeaway. What we have done is we have normalized square love for all of you. We have we have normalized love the way you may experience in your own life. And that is exactly what we have done. Nothing special. Look at the series. Give a lot of love. The only message that you need to take away is we all are human beings and we need only respected like human beings that's it. amazing lastly my last question is how did this name rainbow rishta came because obviously it's such a unique and such a different name like uh, nobody could have uh, thought of such a unique name for this series so how did this story behind this name came uh the name was already there when i came onto the project so vice had developed it um, and uh, taken it to Amazon, and uh, the the name has always been there from the beginning. Um, and uh, yeah, so I mean, uh, none of us in this room can take credit for it. <laughs> okay, amazing. Thank you so much, guys. It was lovely speaking to you. Good luck for the series. Thank you. Thank you so much. And take care. Bye. Yeah.